cool vibe. Probably not the vibe I go for in my room. But, I would. Uh, what? I would actually. You would. That's I'm your not, type I'm, of stuff. I'm not edgy. I'm. I'm, I'm 30. But yeah. That, that kind of, yeah. I'm old. Hello. Uh, but I'm not edgy. I'm 30. Is, Great quote. <laughs> it's actually really good. And just like that, we got Nick versus CPU. It's gonna be a daisy. Haven't seen a. Uh, Banjo even. I uh, haven't seen him one in a while, actually. I can tell you for a fact I've never seen this matchup before. <laughs> <laughs> Banjo is not a super common character. Uh, I have casted a fair bit of him, but, you know, it's still, it's still like, definitely a different ball game against somebody like Peach, who also has yeah. good projectiles to deal with your stuff and has really good uh, burst movement options. Uh, but, you know, does have trouble closing the gap all the way. I mean, you have that, that burst in the air, like, Certainly with your forward air, you have good range, able to outrange Banjo, but at the same time, you know, Banjo has really, really good tools at the just disjoints. keeping you slightly too far away. Yeah, exactly. Like, if you're not on point on your uh, precision or your uh, location, you're going to get punished instead. The double Wonder Wing in order to find one that actually managed to punish. A bit of a resource um, decision that I, I can get by with. Of course, you got you got to trade in order to get the stocks and just like that, the triple digits show up and it could be extremely dangerous once you get into uh, one of those Banjo confirms. Yeah, I feel like we're definitely gonna be in for a bit of a long haul in this game because both these characters do have a slow time building up percent and can have trouble killing if they don't get those big confirms. And right now we're seeing, uh, one of the things I wanna see for CPU is if he has those Regal Blaster confirms on deck yeah. because the Regal Blaster is such a powerful tool. And okay, wow, down throw into back air, uh, not getting the correct DI and he does manage to fall to that. So super important. Um, or relatively early kill, but all right, CBU answering back on Nick. Mm -hmm. Back to back with a forward air. Of course, a heavy hitting gun definitely allows uh, Nick to just, uh, I'm sorry, CPU to bring it back, uh, bring the stock back as soon as possible. But look, Daisy can pull some nice Twitter combos. Unfortunately for us, we haven't been seeing them a lot, and it's understandable. You gotta make a feel of your opponent first, try to see what goes in, but that's a great extension that allows for a really good punish. Unfortunately, that stock is not relinquished just yet, but at least a resource has been used. Yeah, I love drag down up air. I always think it's such a sick confirm from, from Peach. I don't know why, it just looks mm. so cool. Uh, we're tasting the rainbow a little bit, but right now, it's just been pretty much all Nick. CPU made a couple a couple er good early plays, but after, after Nick got that first yeah. kill, really been running away with the game. So I want to see how CPU uh, can come back into this, you know, because as a character like Banjo, it can be relatively difficult to come back once you're behind because the onus is on you to approach. Yeah. And just having that ability to close space is is really difficult. So you are you have to throw projectiles, but then they can just sort of like shield them, pick up their own projectiles. You know, Nick has a lot of options for how to play this. Yeah, Banjo needs to play a little bit more passive as you uh, very accurately mentioned. So yeah, maybe being on a deficit can be a little bit tricky. And of course, if you overextend with Banjo, it can be very detrimental, especially when you consider that you're fighting Daisy, right? A character that can just burst just like that, get you all the way up to 60, and just like that, putting him in a very uncomfortable situation. But that Wonder Wing helping him just get off my face, I need some space because otherwise that stock could have been gone, Jed. Yeah, we've seen a lot of out of disadvantage Wonder Wings for CPU yeah. using it as a way to like sort of be like, okay, you have stage control, but I'm going to take that away from you with my resource. And oh, okay, huh. good mash, really, really quick mash there. Incredible mash. Or Nick, I mean, we've seen every single time he's been able to get out quickly, but uh, CPU could still go for the up tilt off of the berry, which is usually the counter for the, for the mash. So we'll see though because CPU has very little time left. Yeah, this is not looking pretty for the Banjo main, considering how he's just one hit away. I think a back air could do it. That's a confirm, yep. finally getting the stock. But now we, we found ourselves in, the in a place that you mentioned, right? How do you bring it back, especially considering you have to play a little bit more on the safer side, because if you overextend, you will get very heavily punished, just like that offstage situation. And of course, the advantage is going to be for Daisy. Yeah, but it, like like we said, though, it is hard for Banjo to make a comeback, but he does have the tools to do so sometimes. Yeah. Like that Wonder Wing can break shields if you're not careful. Also, there's a there's really there's really good. Oh, okay, that's not that's not a way to make a comeback. <laughs> Di's into the Bermuda Triangle, never to be seen or heard from again. Yep. And yeah, I mean that's one way to one way one way that Banjo can make kills is happen is just early early pressure with like you put a, you put a lot of damage on their shield and then you go for like a forward air and 
it'll break shield super, super early, and then you can get a, obviously, a super early kill if you do that. But then there's also just, you know, Wonder Wing can get early kills if you have a lot of rage. There's good co confirms off of grenade. There's good confirms off of regal blasters. You so. did mention that uh, the extension, right? The the regal blaster doing uh, up a lot of damage if he manages to get to connect. However, we, we haven't seen that just yet, and, and maybe oh look, even changing characters, which I don't think it's a bad idea to be honest. At least in this case, it didn't pan out. Maybe the way that seems kind of difficult intended. Yeah, and now that we're in town and city, we're gonna have a little bit more of wiggle room, and let's we know that Diddy loves extra wiggle room. Yeah, and this is gonna be this is gonna be a, a definitely a different style of match. Diddy being able to push the pace a little bit better, having a lot more options up in those close quarters. And we're gonna see if that'll be enough because Nick was able to, to do so much damage and get really early kills in that last game. So right now, you know, it's on C uh, on CPU to make uh, to make the pressure happen to make this yeah. this advantage state worth a lot. Yeah, it's pretty much a, a a 360 degree change, right? Because Banjo does have the the, the projectiles, but they're not as 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 relevant as wow. Diddy Kong in this case. However. Daisy just going for the sweet spot. And no banana for you, little monkey. I got it in my hands. And it's very unfortunate that uh, he's not getting much out of any interaction that he's supposed to be getting, of course, especially with Diddy. But just look at him. The, the item play is just insane from Nick. Yeah, I, I'd be really scared to play uh, Diddy against a Peach player because Peach players usually have really, really good item control due to, this, due to the turnips. That's scary. Yeah, so I, I'm interested to see how... Uh, how CPU is going to be able to do anything against this, this super, super powerful item play we've been seeing so far from Nick. And Nick finding his way out of the corner. Good edge cancel, but it really just doesn't matter that much because, you know, even though you got the edge cancel, even though you're getting some damage, you still have to get a, a whole kill here and more if you're Nick. And already lapped in percent. Yeah, that. Wow. Yeah, just banana into up smash. And Nick <laughs> has the item once again. CPU trying to pull it out, but it's like, nope. it's my banana now. Very unfortunate situation because uh, you can tell that CPU is, is not being able to find his ground just yet, despite the fact that it's, it seems like his VD is in a very good spot. He's just fighting with someone that feels even more comfortable with uh, the spacing, the item play, which is crucial in this matchup. So, uh, yeah, that's exactly why Nick is doing so well, trying to get that spike. That could have yeah, been Yeah, that's one a way of coming changer. back into it. Once mm -hmm. again, went for two spikes in a row, trying to like with a lot of desperation to try to get this kill early, but I respect it. I mean, sometimes you've got to make something big happen if you're behind big. And oh man, I love this coverage here. Floating just out of the get up attack range and keeping the pressure on. Nick has been playing super, super hot yeah. this game, I feel like. Yeah, he has, he has, and that, he has the lead to prove it, right? Now, CPU is not being able to find a good confirm for the banana, and I think it has a lot to do with the fact that Daisy likes to be airborne, right? So even harder to make her trip, even harder to find her in a bad spot, or a, a rather, a good spot to punish her. So uh, it's it's it has piled up all across this game. We're just getting close to the to the potential end of it, but for that, Nick would need to take that stock immediately. Okay, but still, signs of life shown for CPU. Yep. Has the banana in hand, has, uh, is on even stocks, and is going to have to find Ooh. a way so off this ledge. Throws the banana back down. Yeah, no, not able to punish that side B in the forward air. Beats out any attempt to. GGs. Nice shot by Nick, 2-0 there. Moving on in bracket. I believe this is the uh, this is the next set of pools. So I think we're in pool three now. You reckon?